Hello guys, so I'm on the way to the bridge right now and I need to check the fire alarm system control panel because we're having a problem with the uh, water mist system. So this is our control panel for the fire alarm system and we're having a problem with the water mist so every time we um, activate the fire detector in the generator room the sprinkler or the water mist will be activated in the purifier room so it means the zone are mixed so I reviewed the wiring diagram this is a newly updated upgraded this is a newly upgraded system so before it was an old system I can I will try to check the if there we still have the old detectors and so I reviewed the wiring diagram and based on my understanding I think we can correct the system by only interchanging the wires from the zone so I will explain it to you later the wiring diagram so during the testing of our water mist system we found out that there is a problem with the zone and the valve reactions every time we activate a specific zone in the engine room then a uh, different areas will be activated so water will be poured out in a different area This is the M8 uh, module where all the relay switching is happening from each and every um, zone. So I will try to correct the wirings from here. To test it, we need to activate each zone and which one will be activated here. And then I will try to swap the wiring. So this is our wiring diagram for our water mist system. So, I only focused on the pages wherein we have a link on the fire detection system. So, uh, this is the fire detection system air, uh, side and this is the water mist side. So, based on my understanding, the zone are divided into six areas. So, it would be the main engine auxiliary boiler generator room port side starboard side um, incinerator and purifier area but what is happening is that every time this one closes the valve will open on the other area so I check now which is the relay that will open that valve so this is the zone one so you would expect that KO2 relay will activate every time zone 1 will be activated but based on the actual testing it was not the KO2 it is not the KO2 that is activating the one that is activating is the KO3, KO4 and KO5 so the channeling is not correct from the output of the PCD2 but it is the correct discharge valve so I was thinking that the communication between the fire detection system going to your PCD2 is not correct so all I need to do is to swap all these wires depending on which is the correct zone Activate 
just stand by there okay i will correct that while i will transfer it and see if it is the zone one now for the main engine Okay, now Roger, you can activate again. Okay, activate again. Yeah, go ahead. Zone one main engine. So now we are correct on the main engine top, right? So we did the testing in each and every zones and checking which are the correct wiring. So I transferred it to the correct channels. Yeah, Roger. Can you test now the incinerator? The incinerator first. So that's incinerator, right? All right. So this is the wiring diagram. So the PCD2 is the controller for the water mist system and the fire detection system is this one this zoning so the channels as per the wiring diagram are connected to this relay m8 so they were so they were wired wrong that's why I'm I'm doing the correction now. And now we will activate again the uh, boiler. Yeah, second can you activate the boiler again? Which valve open now? Okay, so this is correct now, right? Now you can reset the alarm. Okay. Stand by, I will correct this to dash one. So guys, finally, so this is the last cable, so this is the last cable that we will transfer and this is for sure for the generator starboard side room. So finally, after like matching and identifying the pair of cable. So let's try. The, this is the last one testing should be correct now yeah second can you activate the other generator room okay activating now so it's activating now let's see if the alarm will be correct so this is our panel and testing this we need to do the 
correct way. I we need to do the actual one because as soon as the detector activated, the valve for the water mist system will follow. So you cannot, it will not follow if you put this one into test mode. It will only follow if it is an actual fire alarm because that module, if you put it on test mode, that module a relay will also be isolated. I think this is a little bit long video vlog than the usual one and I will not do much of an editing because it is the actual troubleshooting. So that's the alarm. It's on the DG number. Okay, can reset now. So after correcting all the wirings in the M8 module, I made my own wiring diagram. And it is a best practice to put it in the control panel so that the guy next to you will have his own reference. So guys, that is Vancouver, Canada. And that is the closest, and this is the closest that we can get to see because we are not allowed to go outside until now so that's it guys i hope you learned something from this video and please do not forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel for more video updates thank you